This video will explain the simple steps for installing a WellConnect hybrid geothermal heating and cooling system. Remember, you will not be removing the existing heating system. It will remain in place as the source of second stage supplemental heating or cooling or emergency heat. First decide where the WellConnect will be located. For a hybrid system, the WellConnect is typically placed adjacent to the existing fossil fuel furnace. For a standalone installation in, say, a cabin or cottage, the well connect is usually placed in a corner of the largest room or open area, much like a wood stove would be positioned. Next you'll need to run the water supply and water discharge piping. Run a 3 quarter inch PEX or PVC water supply with a male hose fitting termination from the closest source of unconditioned well water to the area where the well connect will be located. Always tap into the water supply before it enters a softener or other treatment system. You may need to add an additional pressure tank to make sure the well pump doesn't cycle more often than it should. Now run another 3 quarter inch PEX or PVC line for the water discharge, again including a male hose thread fitting on the end near the well connect. About 3 feet before penetrating out through the exterior wall, transition the discharge to 1 and a half inch PVC pipe with a slight downward slope to ensure all water drains from the pipe when the well connect shuts off. Once outside, this one and a half inch PVC pipe should immediately turn down and discharge into a section of four inch drain tile to direct the water away from the foundation and toward a convenient discharge point. Both the supply and discharge pipes should be insulated to prevent condensation. Have an electrician run a 20 amp 240 volt electric circuit to a NEMA 620 receptacle which should be properly mounted to a wall or post just behind the well connect. Number 12 wire is adequate in most installations. Now set the well connect in its place, install the stainless steel supply water hose, the braided vinyl discharge hose, and plug in the well connect, leaving the power switch on the back of the cabinet in the off position for now. If the installation is a standalone well connect, you are ready to open the water valves and turn the system on after installing the batteries in the wireless thermostat. For a hybrid installation, the ductwork must be attached between the well connect and the main supply and return ductwork for the house. Install the 12 inch butterfly damper on the discharge collar of the well connect, and then install an appropriate backdraft damper in the discharge plenum of the furnace, above the air conditioning coil if there is one. Cut a 12 inch hole in the supply duct downstream of the damper, and run a section of 12 inch duct, flex or metal, from the well connect discharge to the existing supply duct. If the well connect is in an unconditioned space, install a return air plenum on the rear of the well connect and run a section of 12 or 14 inch duct to the return air duct serving the furnace. To enable two stage heating and two stage cooling, run a piece of four conductor thermostat wire from the color coded terminal board behind the well connect front service panel to the matching terminals in the existing furnace. Do not remove any existing wires on the furnace terminal board. Lastly, open all water valves, put the batteries in the wireless thermostat that came with the well connect, and turn on the well connect power switch. You can now operate the system using the wireless thermostat. That's it. You are now saving money on heating and cooling costs. Remember to follow all applicable state and local codes regarding plumbing and electrical materials and practices.